All right, the word connection, man, it's it's good, it can be bad, you know. So in uh, the golf machine, the number one lever is the left arm. Center of the swing is your head and also the left shoulder socket. Master lever, left arm. Fourth accumulator, okay. Number one is the elbow, right elbow going like this, like a hammer. A number two accumulator are the wrist cocking and uncocking. Number three is rolling, right? So the wrist got to uncock and roll at some point, right? And the elbow is going to be straightening at some point. So, but what happens to the left arm here, the fourth accumulator, if it gets stuck? So when you start your golf swing, the pressure point is at one here on the chest for this bicep inside right here. Then it climbs up on top of the pec and goes above when you get your hands and the left arm on the shoulder plane, okay? So once it goes from right here at, at position two, uh, P2, and it starts to slide up a little bit at P3, now it's going up my pec here, see? So it starts to go up. It's like, it's like the rib cage is like a little guide for the left arm to go up and down, okay? Now what happens to me uh, personally is I'll get here and have it in a pretty good shape up at the top here, right? But I'll start to shift and my, my fourth accumulator that went to number three up here didn't go back down to one or even to two. I mean, it didn't start on the way back down. So it's like, that's when you start to get really goofy tilts and stuff, right? So what you have to do is do some where you're, you're, you put it up here and then you get the arms down fast. You just get them down fast, faster than the body turns from the top. Okay, so that was spicy. Okay, that was a spicy arm swing down for me, although my tempo is kind of ry rhythmic and stuff like that. That felt like insanely jerky and fast, but when I look at it, I will not look like this, which can be my um, nemesis, which is a, a leg bump, right shoulder tilt, left arms across, dumping the club, angles come out. Whereas if I'm this way, I'll show you the other one. Okay, there it is. There's the opening swing after a month off, right? Where the left arm stays on top on the shoulder plane and never comes down off the shoulder plane. What, how do I get to the ball? Well, I do a knee dip slide, you know, which is not a bad thing, this, right? But then I start to add a little tilt to the uh, right side bend, okay? Keep that slide, now I can start to get down there, right? But there's no action from the arms. There's these accumulators that accumulate power, one, two, three, four, and the way they should fire is four, one, two, three, okay? So four down, and then the elbow, uncocking, and finally the roll, one, two, three. So four, left arm getting back down to the side of the ribs, okay, while the head and everything's still there. Uh, the elbow's starting to straighten some, uncocking some, and then once that's kind of plowing through, the, you'll see that it all lines up with that flat left wrist and that line from the armpit here and through. So I made a little uh, Spice Girls again here. See what I get. That's what I get. Okay, that was great. Right on the pin, completely not rhythmic for me, but insanely good on the sweet spot. And I should share with you, this is that my miss when I stay up high on the pressure points on number three on the pec here with the fourth accumulator, and I start to do this, then it's it's on the heel, okay? Face is open, hitting thin shots. That That's it in a nutshell right there. That was a short arc finish. When you guys look at that, you'll notice that I hit the ball and I had to cross over early, right? Because when you're going down with the speed and volume with your hands and arms, your lower body's gonna stabilize. It's just gonna go, I don't know what's going on here, but Gormanator's doing something different. He's going in fast with the club head and arms. He's gonna undo it, boom, boom, boom. Where the other one here is just like, okay, he's not doing that. Now we have to tilt the hips. We gotta dump the shoulder. Angle's gotta come out and we gotta time some other stuff. So pretty interesting stuff. That's why uh, it's golf schools that we do up here uh, out in Mexico, just looking at the alignments and explaining the accumulators, you know, the, the golfing machine accumulators that Mac uh, used so much in his Morad system. And then also blending in the Morad ideas in there with the center of gravities and the balance. And I mean, Mac hit a ton of balls. He he, uh, there's a hitting and swinging, and he was a, a little combination of both. In one of my videos, he talks about it. Uh, right arm swinging's in there too, but that was Homer Kelly, who wrote the book, didn't didn't think that was a very good way to go. And so, uh, you know, that's to be under investigation, right? So, anyway, there's a little bit more tidbits from you. Um, hope you 
uh, enjoy that and send me some ideas. Uh, welcome to come out here in January and February for the golf schools. There's going to be six or eight of us out here playing some golf in this beautiful weather. Get out of the snow. Get out of wherever. Have a margarita. Work on your game. Play the Nicholas Weisskopf courses up here, which are just phenomenal. You can see the place is empty, uh, waiting for us. It's just the best. And I'll pan around here for you. That is the Nicholas number nine over there. And the mountains in the background. We've got the Weisskopf course in the canyon. Uh, the back nine of uh, Weisskopf is over on the other side of the range over there. Beautiful. So. Looking forward to having you come out. Uh, join the team of us at Masters of the Game. We're kind of doing the golf machine stack and tilt, the whole uh, Morad deal. And uh, of course the Hogan move gets in there too with a little Trevino, why not, right? So we're gonna find your best swing for you. That's our goal. And uh, done it for me, do it for others, and not to complicate it. That's the whole other thing is, is that you don't have to be perfect everywhere, but let's just make sure we're going down the right track systematically to produce just the most consistent swing for you. All right, Gormanator out, paulgormangolf.com. Okay, paulgormangolf.com, Masters of the Game, and send a note to get in one of the schools in uh, January, February, and March, actually, as well. Okay, adios. Wind up, my eyes are looking right at the ball. It's a straight arm, flat left wrist. I start coming back down, going down the slope. I've got the arm slotting back down the G slot, and here I come. All right, pretty good there, huh? Center of gravity head, center of gravity behind the underarm. Pelvis turning back, hips going. Arm staying underneath me, not going out. I'm just tracking. I'm staying very connected. I can feel the bottom uh, mid triceps on both arms just staying on the sides of the rib cage as I load it back here. I'm on plane here, uh, down the plane angle. I keep my head right there. This time I'm going to leave my head there, my eyes. Sounds like my dentist up there. <laughs>